ZSK TA2 controller. This video is intended to be a reference guide only. Today I will show you how to load a design from a network. Obviously you will need to have the TA2 controller programmed to point to a laptop or network server data file where all your designs are stored. I happen to have a server here. I will now load the design with the R1 button. I will come down here to this button that says select design from network. I'll hit that button. I'll let it default to the tubular frame and you notice here is one of my directories. I only have one file area set up. You might have two or three. Make sure you highlight the correct ones that you know where the design is stored. Select network connection. It now has pulled up the designs that are on the server. You will need to know the design number. I'm looking for 355 right here. There's already a version of that on my controller, so what I will do is I'll let it select the free design version and hit confirm. The next screen that comes up is the optimization screen. I will select optimize with default values that are in the controller. The next screen that comes up is the modification screen and here I will select no design modification. Most people use this to rotate the design 90 degrees or 180 degrees depending on what they're embroidering at the time. I will select no design modification. Here the design comes up for the first time. You notice this is the colors that it was digitized in. I'll either hit accept loaded design or hit the OK button. The design is now ready to be embroidered. However, Double check to make sure your color assignments with R5 is correct and also do range the design to make sure it fits inside your hoop. That is how you load a design from a network on a ZSK TA2 controller. 